What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Lots going on this week. So for starters, I busted the goose out, did a little street tuning. Get it squared away, ready for the dyno. That should happen pretty soon, I think. Uh, there's some issues with it I had to fix, and I've been kind of putting them off, so. Pulled it out, showed it some love. Got it out on the street around it for a little bit and I missed that car. Also made some of the ever popular two by four car stands. You see them everywhere. Figured I'd make me a set. Uh, needed to do some some uh, suspension adjusting on the goose. You can't really do that on jack stands, at least not up front. So made those, pretty easy deal. Also reorganized the entire shop. Moved white bread, as you can see, white bread's not here. I got white bread tucked over there for now. Just trying to make room, trying to reevaluate my workspace and how much I have to walk and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's not why you're here. Got a lot done on the bibster this week, so pulled that rear section off, got everything TIG welded up. I started mocking panels for the back of that thing, like the uh, license plate tag panel and the side panels for that thing, and um, they're looking pretty, pretty dope, I mean, I must say. Once I had those things on, then it was time to move on to the brake lights. So I've been kind of pondering how I wanted to do these brake lights for a long time. Ended up just making some buckets, mounting those lights. Yeah, well, let me show you. So I got those pretty close to the way that I want them. Probably gonna put a little more shape in them on the English wheel at some point. I gotta figure out how to mount them. So I'm probably gonna end up doing some Kind of like I did the floor pans in this thing. I'll probably do some strips of metal, weld those in there, and then have those panels most likely rivet on um, or weld on. I have to figure that out. I don't know if I want the, the rivet look or not. But I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks. I think what I want to do now is kind of let those sit and kind of marinate on it a little bit. I'll probably take those things on and off a couple times, put them in the English wheel, see if I can get a little more shape to them. Right now though, what I want to do is I want to work on the rear tail lights. So I want to make like a tail light bucket for those things. I've kind of talked about it before. Uh, probably mock it up in some cardboard. I want to try to do it all out of one piece. So I'll try to, you know, make this thing where I can kind of fold it up in the, in the sheet metal brake and it'll all be one piece. I can put a couple tacks on that thing, kind of hold it together and we can fit that in the car, so that's what I'm gonna start doing now. So one of the first things I gotta do is figure out how I want to mount these. So initially, I was kinda thinking that they would be about like that. They would just be, I guess, square to whoever's behind the car. But now that I look at it, I'm thinking about maybe giving it just a little bit of an angle, 
just enough to kind of match this rear bumper. I think it might kind of display the light a little bit better out the sides. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see what we got here. So if I'm gonna hold that angle there. All right, so I'm getting close on the template. Uh, and I just used some scrap cardboard that I had laying around. So I'll, I'll show you a couple of tricks that I like to use when using just scrap cardboard. One of the tricks I like to use is you can use tape as a hinge. So this is actually two separate pieces. Uh, and then I just taped it up. It makes for a great hinge. The other thing is, is if you don't have Say you're either making a template and you don't have enough cardboard to make the exact template you want, or you've cut some off and you need to add it back. I'll actually use tape out here on the edge to kind of get that, to kind of fill that back in. So it just basically one piece of tape that just wraps around, sticks to itself. I need to do the same thing on this side, so this just didn't have it. And really this needs to kind of mimic that. So let's take some tape. Let's see here, what's the best way to do this? Sometimes I'll just use this method literally just to get it close. So I can then like re retrace it onto Another piece of cardboard. So that gets me super close right there. So what I'll probably do now is because that's close enough for me, uh, we'll go ahead and put this on some sheet metal and go ahead and break these lines fold it up and see what we got.
So tail light buckets are kind of mocked up, briefly made. I've got them kind of tacked to this piece here. Um, I can still kind of take those in and out as needed. And I'll probably make them permanently attached to this. So the idea right now is to, um, this body panel, I want it to kind of come down and cover this up a little bit. And let me see here. I posted some pictures on, I think Instagram, kind of what I had in mind. And it's something along the lines of that. So, with the tail lights lit, it kind of makes this bottom section glow red. Can you see that? Yeah. Kind of makes that bottom section glow red. The sides are kind of glowing red, but standing above it, you don't see a tail light. You just see metal, which is what I want. You don't really see that tail light until you get, you know, a couple feet back. So that's the idea. I want to kind of bring this panel down, shape it kind of around this stuff. And then what I'll do is I'll make another piece that kind of attaches to this body panel that comes down over here where it looks kind of full. May put a rounded edge on this thing over here. So that's the idea. Got some RAM board already cut to width. So I'm going to start kind of chopping on this thing and see what I come up with. So there it is, got the buckets made, so it's got a steel bucket in there for the tail lights, got the lights themselves mounted, and then as you can see, mocked up the sheet metal, pretty happy with the way it turned out, kind of goes right around that spring. Now what I may do is I may actually make a piece of sheet metal that comes off of this, that comes down maybe stops right in there where it kind of looks like it's a full piece but one piece will be attached to the body the other piece will be you know this piece will be part of the tail section or maybe just leave it the way it is you can kind of get down there and see all the suspension which is pretty cool i'm happy with how it turned out it's uh about what i envisioned it being where you're kind of on top of it, you don't really see much. You just kind of see those lights glowing. Glowing out from underneath it, but you know, as you get back, the light shows itself. And it's obviously safe. I mean, I'm probably, what, eight foot from it now, and you can see the light just perfect. I'm eight foot from it now, and this is like five foot, the camera's at five foot height. So, won't be any issues with visibility. And that's on brake mode. I may actually do a third brake light because the that's that's the brakes there, and then it's a little bit dimmer when you do just the running lights themselves. You can see the tag, the tag section. It's all recessed in there. Obviously, these are just temporarily on there. I actually tacked it just so I wouldn't have to have tape on it. But most likely break these loose, 
put a little more shape in it, like I said. And I'm not sure if I'm just gonna like tack these on there or if I'm gonna put some tabs in there and then rivet them on. Alright guys, there you go, another Bibster video, another bite out of this thing. It's going to take a bunch of small bites, but I'm not in any hurry. It's uh, more of a passion project for me than like a hurry up and get done. So, brake lights, tail sections coming together. Um, the fabrication's getting pretty close to the end. I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up to kind of break this thing apart. Already buying motor stuff. Uh, I'm going to put a girdle and stuff in that motor, I think. And... Just gearing up to go ahead and re go through that engine and start getting everything ready for final assembly. I, I got a couple little things I need to figure out uh, fabrication wise, but once those are done, I will be good to go. So, anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Go do work, son. <laughs>